Hey y'all, it's me. Have you ever wondered how to paint a metal bed using DIY chalk paint? Well, just hang around and I'll show you my take on how to achieve this look. Working on this wrought iron piece took me way back to my childhood. I mean, like, way back, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm getting old up there, so it had, I had to go way back. But my great aunt had a wrought iron bed in her house, and every time I went to spend the night over there, we would always sleep on this bed. And it was always squeaky, and I guess because it was just old. It was probably old back then, and she didn't even know what she had. She had an antique and didn't even know it. I knew I wanted to use a spray gun for the base coat of this bed, but had zero idea how much water to use. So we watched a video by Zeb and Jamie Ray, and the hubby gets out the sprayer, we do the math, and there you have it. It worked like a charm. Isn't he just the cutest? About this bed, and it just brings back so many childhood memories, and. I couldn't help but think about my granny. Me and my cousin Kay, we were always together and we were always in scrapes. We were always getting in trouble. And for some reason, I'm the younger. I'm like a year and a half younger than her. So I always seem to take the brunt. This piece needed to match another piece I had already painted called My Fair Lady. This lady bought My Fair Lady and she wanted it to match this piece. I was really scared thinking, oh no, it is wrought iron. How in this world am I gonna achieve the same look? She just had to give for gab and I think she talked more than I did and she talked her way out of everything. I'm just saying, if you're listening to this, Kay, that's really how it happened. I'm just saying, it's really how it happened. I just started slapping paint on this piece. I worked layer chocolate into the little bouquet on top of the piece. And then I took some layer chocolate, faded burlap and crinoline and used my Mr. Bottle and watered that down really good, mixed it up and used that to start painting over the base coat on this wrought iron. I loved my granny and grandpa. They were amazing people. Loved them. Granny was immaculate. Her house was immaculate. You did not walk in my granny's house with your shoes on. She said that dirt on your shoes cut the carpet. I, she, that's what she said, so I believe that. She said, when you walk on that carpet and you got dirt on your shoes, that will cut my carpet. So I believed her. If you came into her house and it was in the middle of the day, don't you go in her bedrooms and sit down on her beds. She already had those beds made. And beds are not for sitting, they're for sleeping. So just get on outside. Just go play. So that's what we done. We went and played. I needed to add some color to this beautiful bouquet. So I'm adding kissing booth and a little petticoat pink. I'm doing gypsy green with a little bit of mint chip mixed in. And I just get it all in the cracks and crevices and it is looking amazing. I'm already in love with this beautiful piece. My granny and grandpa always went to singings on the weekend at the neighboring churches. And invariably, if me and my cousin Kay heard about it, we were hopping the car. I'm sure my granny and grandpa said, shh, hey, Milo, there's a singing over, over at, at Wiley May down there. And um, if, if we would sneak out, we probably could get there without Kay and Christy. That's probably what they said. I don't know if they did it or not. I'd like to think they didn't, but but I'm just saying, I don't know. They might have done that because every time we went, we got in trouble. DIY wax is amazing. It is so luscious. It just goes on like butter. There's no VOCs, no smells whatsoever. I was a little bit leery of using wax on a metal piece, but Debbie Beard assured me that that was the route to go, and I did, and I'm so glad I did. It is just beautiful. Okay, if y'all cutting up in church, I'm gonna tell your mamas on you. And we'd be like, we promise, Granny, we'll be good. And we was good for a little bit anyway.
okay, y'all know I'm going to say it. I absolutely love white wax. This is my favorite part. I put this on and it will absolutely give the piece a washed out, worn, vintage look. I put it in all the cracks and crevices. I work in small pieces. I don't do the whole piece at one time. Then I take a rag and I wipe it back and just enough so I can see that peeking out in all the cracks and crevices. A little tip, what I love about Debbie's Design Diary wax. If you get too much and you don't like the look of it, take the clear wax and use it as an eraser. You can use that clear wax over the top and wipe it back and start over. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. We went to a singing at Wiley May Pentecostal Church. They always had Frito pie after church and they, they had them bags of Fritos, you know, they'd turn them sideways and they'd slit them open and then they'd pour the chili and the cheese in there and you'd eat them out with a fork. So high class, that's what we did. Yeah, we did, that was pretty cool. We thought it was cool anyway. On our way home, it was dark. Yeah, we drank too much Coke, I'm just saying. They say all that glitters is not gold. Well, hello, this is glittering and it is gold. Golden Ticket Liquid Patina. It dresses up any piece. I love it. I apply it with my finger, not a brush. A little goes a long way. Certainly the finishing touch. They'd always say, go to the restroom. We'd say, we ain't gotta go. Well, go try anyway. Go anyway. Go try. But I don't have to go. Go try. Well. I didn't try that time, I, I just didn't. And it was about 45 minutes to the house and back then they probably drove 50. So yeah, it was a, a ways to the house. I remember what Kay said, but she had me tickled and she had me laughing and we were snickering and cutting up and I could hear grandpa up there snorting and saying, them girls, they just need to be quiet back there. <laughs> we didn't. We just kept laughing and talking and laughing. You know what happened? I did not go try to go to the restroom before I left. I drank a lot of Coke or something of that nature. I did not go to the restroom. I just reiterate, I did not go to the restroom. When Kay got through making me laugh, I didn't have to go when we got home either because I, I already went, just saying, I just already went. And I had on a brand new, brand new, Mama had just bought it. It was pleated. It was a brand new wool skirt, and it was so cutiful. It was just a cutiful skirt. I just thought I was just hot snot in that skirt. You can imagine, she had to take it to the dry cleaners, and I don't know why, but you know, I never saw that skirt again. But I don't even know what the moral of the story is. Don't go to a singing with your cousin who makes you laugh in a brand new wool skirt after you drank a lot of Coke and didn't try to go to the restroom. That's probably what the moral of that story is. <laughs> Finally finished, and I'm really loving how this turned out. It's so dreamy and so beautiful. I was worried about it not matching the other piece that I had made for this customer. I had named that piece My Fair Lady, and this bed absolutely matches perfect. It is so pretty and so dreamy. I really love it. This beautiful bed took me way back to my childhood and I relived some wonderful memories that I had of my granny and grandpa and of course my cousin Kay. I never got my wool skirt. I'm just I'm just hurt. I'm just it's tragical. I didn't get my skirt back. I'm just saying it was a brand new skirt. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to be in the know on the next video coming out, hit that subscribe button, the post notification button, and then put a comment in and say, hey, I subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Love y'all.